it's literally they say if you don't plan you plan to fail so part of planning is knowing what you're getting yourself into and once you know these things they're kind of easier to avoid so i really hope for your sakes is or oh, bro you stay and you watch this video and you get plugged at the end of it if this information comes up liable to you and you feel like someone else might need it that you know or you yourself loved it and you could use it please give me a like and share the video with anyone who you think needs it um San Monani guys, Igama Osueli Leneo and Galen Jungus Bongela for all the support. Um, it's really cool and yeah, amazing. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed part two. I'm sorry for the little split, it wasn't planned, but we'll just keep it going. And if this is your first time on my channel, please do get comfortable and enjoy the content. Thank you so much for clicking in. Actually, it's just it's bigger than one person. It's a whole system. It's a whole country that needs to be re-educated on how to see other people from, especially countries like Africa. Um, moving on to point number nine, they drive on the right side of the road. Now, everyone will be like, mm, this is whatever. If you know how to drive this side, you will know how to drive this side of the road, you know. But... What I mean by that is it's not just the, you driving on the whole other side of the road like against the traffic as you would usually not. Like for example if in, like you're turning, instead of you just turning into your right, like the right is right here and you're turning, you will be curving the whole road and it feels weird your steering wheel is on the other side where like you know it's just the opposite of how the rest of the world does it. And I personally feel like this is important and I would like someone else who's coming here to know it just so they are more prepared and they inform whoever will be helping them or whoever will be taking care of their adjustments when they get here so that that person can tackle that because when I came here um, I was an au pair in my host family thought I lied about the fact that I can drive and I have a driver's license because they were like if you have a driver's license you can drive how come you can't drive but I was really in shock and panicking just feeling like I could be on the wrong side of the road anytime and there's like maybe two to three times where I've been driving like where I was driving and I found myself on the wrong side thinking this is where I should be and then this in a car coming towards me because I'm on the wrong side of the road instead of being on the other opposite side that I'm used to so it's really like just sounds like a funny stupid thing but when you experience it and you get to have to do it it's it's quite an adjustment that you just want to be prepared for now looking at number 10 um drinking has to wait know how in other countries like south africa you can drink as soon as you turn 18 in america the legal age for drinking is 20 meaning if you are under the age of 21 you cannot purchase or drink alcohol at a club restaurant or anywhere in public i will even tell you that if you go to any restaurant that serves alcohol and you order a drink that has even two percent alcohol they will ask for your id to confirm your age so they take that very seriously and the age is 21 so when i came out 20 couldn't really drink but lucky for me i was someone who didn't even drink back home so i was good with it um and then on that point still i added that insurance is higher now your insurance will be higher if you are under the age of 25 and you are a new driver in the states so you might be over 25 but if you're a newer driver on the united states your insurance might just be higher until you get a license here and you prove yourself like that you can drive and by proving yourself i just mean waiting a couple of months maybe six before your insurance drops and car insurance is a must it's not optional in america if you drive without it you get pulled over and get arrested and then, um, okay, on to the next point. Number 11, shipping is ridiculously expensive. I don't think I need to explain or over elaborate on this one. It just simply means your family and friends will always ask you to buy them things because they believe that things are cheaper here. Now, even if that thing or item comes down to be cheaper than you would get it back home and you can afford it way more, um, shipping it might still cost you a ridiculous amount and take more time 
then it would take you to just like send them money and have it buy it for themselves this comes hard to, for people to understand but that's why you hardly see people in other countries especially in america shipping to africa now if you're shipping to the islands or the canada and stuff like that obviously it's going to be less but nobody's trying to be shipping stuff to the year to africa from america every month it's it's a lot it adds up um let's move on like i said there's no need to stay hard on these other points so we're gonna go on to point number 12 which says the bills understand something back at home you normally will stay with your family or your friends and you're all split the rent it's 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 just more like we coexist we live together we we love the unity but in america everyone tries to be as independent as and as like in their own space as they can which means that you will have to be paying a high fee for rent to get your own apartment which is a very common thing here and then there's car installments and then there's transports if you choose to not buy a car there's lights like electricity yes each person who stays in the house gets to contribute in it most likely especially with apartments and this gas you pay for gas the gas will allow you to cook and have hot air you pay for water you pay for sewage you pay for trash for them to take out your trash you pay for that to dump your trash somewhere you pay for that and then there's like property taxes so you just pay taxes for the sake of the fact that you buy this property or you stay here so yeah the bills in america really add up people think um like staying in america is more affordable because they see how when we get here from other countries we kind of seem like we just afford things it's because you don't have a choice <laughs> when you put in between a rock and a hard place you're gonna just get three jobs if that's what it means but it doesn't mean necessarily that life here is cheaper it just means life here is more demanding and if you don't rise up to that heat you're gonna break so really be prepared to be paying for everything phone bill like beginning of the month end of the month you're paying for a lot of things so that's why you see people work months now talking about the bills i feel like i covered a lot of topics that touch on finances now if you're going to be coming to america you want to be sure that whatever you're coming here to do is going to be sustainable for you to still afford to take care of yourself um, because nobody's going to be taking care of you here unless you're moving here with your mom and dad but if you're moving here independently or with a program or an agency or a school thing you're gonna need to know that how much you're gonna have a month and how much that can like get you a month for example when i came here i came as an au pair which means i was getting paid 200 dollars a week and being at home that offer sounded really amazing i made the mistake of converting it i was like oh two thousand two like two hundred dollars a week is almost like having three thousand a week really just to watch some kids for some hours i'll do that just to travel and be with the family and be like a big sister I'll, i can do that but when i got here i soon realized how much two hundred dollars is nothing it will get you snacks it's change you know so you really want to do research on how much you're going to be able to earn in your stay here and how much you're going to need a month or week based on how much you're going to be earning and when you're going to be earning it moving forward to my last three and hopefully lighter points point number 12 is no we just did point number 12 sorry point number 13 is your mental health is going to be beyond unstable there's a lot of things that are going to affect your mental health when you get here just being away from a common area your common surrounding your family your friends just being away from like your routine and what you're used to what you know your language like it's it, it really takes a big toll on you and whether you are a strong person whether you love traveling whether you are so diverse it's still gonna affect you in one way or another and hopefully for your own sake you have um, a very strong ground mentally and you can prepare like just know what you want to do when you're not feeling well cook yourself some home cooked food like 
get on the phone and try to make time as difficult it is with the time differences and everything try to make time to speak to your family and friends from back home especially in your adjustment phase before you make some here um do those things be very cautious of your mental health when you move into a different country be prepared that mentally you're going to be challenged and kind of have um some ideas of how you're going to try deal with that mental like house because it's it's really what gets most people and point number 14 how much of a support system you will need and how it's not easy to access the support system now the support system that you're gonna need is beyond what you can even imagine I call you in a few um, the me the support system that you're going to need here is drastically bigger than you can even imagine. Even if you're coming here for a job, for fun, travel, or school, you're still going to need a crowd and people you can communicate with, people you can ask questions. So just make sure you have a person or two on your contact list that is already in this side of the world and can kind of help you navigate it and can just be a support system. And when you get here, don't shy away from making friends. They are really gonna take you far and when you make friends here don't stay in your age group or your culture or your comfort zone get out of your comfort zone make friends in all different ages younger and older from than you because that's where you will learn the most from people your age group are most likely if I'm South African and we are at the same age and we come here we most likely have the same problems and no solutions to them but when you make friends with people from this side of the world younger and like older you might learn more from them it's still fun to have your friends from back at home that you can relate to but also be open-minded and be flexible and just use every resource you can get that you are comfortable with on whatever program or situation you come in to find support and then my the food here is definitely different <laughs> um not necessarily bad but just so different from what your taste buds and your palate is used to coming out from outside the country if you take any american you put them in south africa they might find the food interesting but too strong or different for them when we come here we find the food really different and hard to adjust to and just not being able to eat what you like for months can really cause depression on its own so try to look for cuisines try to be a bit open-minded try different cultural foods foods from different cultures and all that don't just expect to come here and eat the same food you were eating back home because newsflash it's not gonna be the case some people's taste buds are a bit more flexible than others but i definitely had and still have a lot of adjusting to do when it comes to my taste buds and that today is my last point thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for still being on this video watching and just listening to me hopefully giving you some really helpful tips and advices and hopefully you know who to share this with on your context list or social media um thank you so much for watching like again i said i really appreciate it and i'm looking forward to making the next video for you guys just so please interact and keep me really going on the comment section on the like section on the sharing department i really appreciate it and have yourself a good rest of your week and i hope you travel safe wherever you're going to next oh and my last point for those who are not traveling anywhere or moving anywhere and still watch this video till this point god bless you i really appreciate you